Hey, good morning, Blake with New Canoe. We're coming at you with a morning video this morning. So grab your lunch if you're on the East Coast, coffee on the West Coast, and let's uh, let's run through some Flint accessories here. Um, first off, you know the Flint was designed to really be a grab and go boat, where you can get this, you know, get the Flint, get your paddle, hit the water. It's got spots built in for your tackle boxes, plano boxes. You got your hog trough channel. You got your crate space in the back for your tackle box or milk crate, whatever you have. So really, the the built into the Flint is everything you need. But there's certainly a lot more options that you can do. The, the potential for this kayak, the options, the accessories, how you can outfit it and rig it, really is endless. We've seen some really great stuff from some guys on our team, from some Flint owners on the owners group. Um, there's just a lot of potential here. So I'm going to run through some of the popular things we have and some of the things you can do with the Flint. So first off, what we have here on this, uh, on this nuclear green Flint is the Firestarter Outfitting Kit. And that's a great place to start. Now the Firestarter Kit includes six items. It has a stand-up handle that'll help you get up and down um, standing position back to your seat easily but it's also awesome in the rivers when I was in the Flint River um, fishing we were wading a lot and I use this just held on to this to pull the Flint uh, through the shoals um, it's also great for tying it off you know if you want to get out of the boat secure this around a tree a dock whatever you want so really a multi-purpose uh, stand-up handle here uh, next we have the, the new canoe hog trough perfect fit for the hog trough handle um, so that's a great item then we have the decking kit Really nice decking kit that's going to cover all the areas where your where your accessories um, are going to be resting on the boat, or where you're going to be standing. So you got the nice deck pads here, deck pads up at the uh, hog trough, and then on the sides in the crate space. Uh, next we have the dashboard. This just gives you a really infinite mounting options. There's uh, six different slots in here that'll work with anything that goes into a track. Um, you got the pre-drill hole positions for ram mounts, scotting mounts, yak gear, you name it. It'll fit in here. It's a great spot for putting your uh, your fish finder display, your GoPro, extra rod holders, whatever you'd want to have with you. So the dashboard, super simple, um, very easy to use, and then just slides right out of the track. So if you have stuff on there you don't want to leave on your kayak, it's easy to take that with you. Uh, next up, we have the track strap. Track strap is goes in the, uh, the track back here. Uh, very adjustable on size, so whether you're securing a small tackle box, a milk crate, a, a cooler, this is going to work for just about anything you want to secure back here, even a dry bag. If you want to have, you know, just gear, you know, for storage, it's great for that. So that track strap comes in really handy. And then last, we have the deck plate storage bag. And this is a great spot for secure, securing things that you want to keep, uh, keep safe, but you don't want, don't need to access while you're out on the water, like keys. Um, good spot to store those. So that's the Firestarter Outfitting Kit. That sold as one item, and it goes for, uh, for 149 MSRP. Now, there's still a lot of other options we have on the Flint, um, we're going to start with the seat. So a couple options for your seat are the lift kit, which is just uh, spacers and bolts to allow you to add one or two inches of height to your seat, and the 360 kit, which is what you see here that just uh, goes right between the base and the cross beams on your seat, and this is going to give you uh, an extra two and a half inches of height, it'll give you 360 mobility with the swivel, and then it'll also give you quick release. So the seat attached the swivel, slides right off, and then the base with the quick release bracket stays mounted into the track. So that makes it really nice when you're getting off the water, you're going to car top the flint, um, transport it, just have that seat slide right off, and you're good to go. Working our way back, the, uh, the black pack is an awesome item for the flint. It fits perfectly back here, it has its own track straps, so you don't need the, uh, the other track strap. And then the black pack, of course, tons of storage, six uh, 3700 series Plano boxes fit in here. You got the extra three rod tubes if the, the four standard flush rod holders and the two horizontal, so horizontal rod holders aren't, aren't enough. Three more for you there with the black pack. And then back at the transom, we have some good options. First off is the new canoe transport cart. Very simple, just plugs right into the transom hole locks in place, grab the bow handle, and away you go. It's also very handy for car topping. You can rotate the, uh, the flint upside down and car top it right along the flat gunnels. The other thing this transom is good for is mounting a power pole or a motor. So we have the, our transom motor plate here. And on this inside plate, you can see it has this raised lip, and that's gonna keep your motor or your power pole from wanting to slide off while you're out uh, using them on the water. So that just plugs in right through the transom hole, has the easy to use tri-knob, 
with the nut to secure it. And then you've got perfect mounting solution for your power pole micro anchor or for a transom mount trolling motor. Either of those would fit perfectly on there. Now, at the end of the day, you get off the water, you want to get your flint in the back of your truck or on your trailer, or you get home and you want to store it, we've got a great solution for that too. Just break down your paddle. Leave it right on the deck. Slide your seat forward. If you don't have a quick release bracket, then just remove the clip, loosen the strap, and it folds right back down. And add on the flint kayak cover. So as you can see with the black pack in, with the seat in, this is gonna fit uh, right over the top of everything. It's got the webbing here with buckles and straps so you can secure it. And if you put your flint in just like this on a trailer back of your pickup, everything's gonna be secure. It's not gonna be in view for when you stop at the gas station and you're gonna keep it, uh, you know, keep everything clean and dry till the next time you're on the water. So those are some of the great options for the, uh, for the flint. Check them out at your new canoe dealer or on our website at newcanoe.com.